When the going gets tough, Gary Curtin gets going. Come rain or shine, he's been a fervent fundraiser of more than £300,000 over the last 30 years. But his passion for fundraising stepped up after a near-death experience. Well, it's the second chance of life I had in 2007. Kicked it off again um, when I had uh, three stents put in my main archery, which was 95% blocked. Give me a new lease of life and um, it kicked off fundraising again. And the first big event was for the cardiac care unit who looked after me. And since then, you've done so much fundraising. This latest challenge, walking different race courses across the country. Epsom is number? Yeah, Epsom's number 38 of 41. How's it been? <laughs> Apart from the weather? Uh. It's been very pleasant, actually, and to uh, get, get to walk the um, famous Derby course is just, yeah, mind-blowing. Well, we'd better get a move on, not least because of the weather, but also the first race is about to start. Absolutely. All right, let's go. Well, at least we ain't got any fences to jump today. <laughs> So what have been some of your favourite race courses to walk? I was lucky at Chowning because I, I went to all four days of the festival but I wasn't able to walk the course. I went back a month's time and to go back to Cheltenham with nobody on the race course, it felt so surreal. The weather was beautiful and to walk around that famous race course was just phenomenal. Uh, another one, I love Goodwood. What a beautiful, pretty course. All right, you need the nice weather. I had the nice weather. That was gorgeous. Gary's 41 racecourse challenge has already topped £10,000 for the Bob Champion Cancer Trust, named after the jockey who won the Grand National 41 years ago, whilst he was recovering from the disease. It's great to walk a different track every day. That's the most important thing. See some fantastic scenery around. And um, I've got to admire him. And um, he's coming up with the goods, raising quite a lot of money, which is very much needed. Doing it in his spare time, really, is working man as well. It's an absolutely fantastic achievement. By day, Gary works in the maintenance department at Pilgrim's Hospice in Ashford. By night, he's hosting sweepstakes, bingo and sports star dinners to raise money for various causes including more than £30,000 for patients and their relatives here whilst they receive end-of-life care. The work that Gary does is absolutely amazing. He's always got a bright idea. Uh, it always makes us laugh and, and uh, yeah, we're in awe of him. 80% of our funding comes from people like Gary raising money for us to keep going. Helping support others is, I don't know, it's in my blood now. You know, I've been doing it for so long and uh, to be appreciated and uh, it's very touching. Gary says he wants to do one final fundraiser before he turns 60 next year. With his track record, you'd certainly back him to go the extra mile. Joe Koshin, ITV News.